Hello everybody, this is Daniel Hood at HavenOfCode.com and I want to show you guys how to set up PHP My Admins Designer Mode. Um, what PHP My Admins Designer Mode is, is uh, it allows you to organize your relations in like a, cate like a really easy fashion. Like, I can click on designer mode when I select my database and it gives me this diagram and in this diagram I can uh, create relations uh, from a primary key to a foreign key and these relations like just this diagram is really nice because we can just go in there and find out the names of our tables and the names of our tables and uh, columns inside of our tables uh, another good thing about uh, the designer mode is we can go into uh, one of our category tables, page categories, and I can edit a uh, pages column and then select the page cat ID with a drop down that displays all of the page cat IDs I created in the page cats table, which holds the primary key. So I'm going to go to uh, Pages, and I'm going to edit a page that has data. And I go, okay, I'm going to select the page cat ID that I want for my Pages column, Pages record. So I go in here and say, all right, I only have two, and I can select the drop down here. And you could actually do this with strings, I believe, but we, you probably only want to just use integers. Okay, so that's what's pretty cool about it. I'm going to show you guys how to install it. So the first thing you want to do is go to phpmyadmin.net and download the latest version, which is 3.4.1, I mean 0.7.1 in my tutorial. So, okay, we download it and I'm just going to go to my downloads and show you guys what to do with it. <laughs> So you're in your zip folder, go into uh, the folder inside that folder. This will hold, this is basically the PHP My Admin root folder and holds the PHP My Admin application. So you just want to copy all of that and put it on your server inside of a folder that uh, is easy to access. Uh, you could just uh, create a folder on your website and name it ASDF and then paste all of the content inside ASDF. And then we can access PHP My Admin by going to yoursite.com slash ASDF. Okay. So I'm just gonna get it all set up real quick. The first thing we need to do um, when we get all the files onto there is open up config.inc.php located in the PHP My Admin root folder. And I'm just going to open it up with Notepad. Uh, actually, <laughs> I'm going to open it up with Dreamweaver. Just because it's easier to read. So, when we edit the config.sample, when we ed edit the config file, we need to we need to have our host handy, whatever your host name is, whether it be localhost or whatnot. We need a blowfish secret, and that's pretty much it. Uh, so let's go ahead and get the blowfish secret. You can get the blowfish secret from this handy website. It generates one for you. And uh, the reason why we need a Blowfish secret is because this is used to encrypt passwords that may be stored in the browser, like authorization codes. And it just enhances the PHP My Admin security, and it's absolutely necessary in this installation. Uh, I will provide a link to this website that produces a Blowfish secret. So go and copy the Blowfish secret, and then paste it in the PHP variable value. Then uh, go down and uh, auth type we can leave a cookie 
uh, this is where your host name goes. It could be whatever your hosting account gave you, or, or it could be localhost if you're in doubt. Um, and then you want to change the extension to MySQLi if your server supports it. But it's 2011 right now, and you should be able to uh, get away with MySQLi. It's nice and it's faster. So, uh, just I don't really need to change anything besides MySQLi. And I got my Blowfish secret, so I'm ready to go. Go to File, Save As, config.inc.php. So make sure you rename it to config.inc.php. Save that. And now I'm going to navigate to the PHP My Admin application, which is located on my computer in ASDF. OK. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in. All right, so we're logged in and it looks all spiffy. That's cool. So now what we have to do is look for a designer mode. Where is it? Well, it's not on here yet because we have to set up a database that holds all the diagram information. So let's do that. Inside your PHP My Admin folder, there's this nifty little script that sets up a PHP My Admin database for you. Open up create tables.sql in the scripts folder. I'm just going to open up with Notepad and I'm going to highlight everything and then copy it. An SQL file holds a query. So copy all the information in there to your clipboard and then uh, go to query window inside PHP My Admin and just paste the query inside there and click go. And hopefully it works. Uh, for most people, like on a hosting account, sometimes they don't allow users to create a database. So you might have to change create database to use uh, you just delete this part and then change the database to your correct database name that you created on your cPanel in your hosting account. Um, everything should have worked fine. Alright, so now we should have a PHP My Admin database. Cool. Now there's just one more thing we need to do. Go back into your config.inc.php file and scroll down uh, to where it says PHP My Admin configuration storage settings. Uh, we'll see a whole bunch of commented stuff. So what we need to do is just uh, comment out the CFG, the CFG values or variables. And guess what, guys? Skyrim comes out tonight. Okay. Alright, so what this is doing is it's just uh, what we're defining in here. We have to define the control user that is allowed to use the PHP My Admin database. Mine is uh, root and Always oh, Falcon 69. Uh, <laughs> okay, so then you go down to PMADB and then change your PHP My Admin database to correct database. Mine is PHP My Admin yeah, already. So after that, you just save it, upload it to your server. I don't have to because it's on my computer. And then go to PHP My Admin. I'm going to have to log out restart that tab and navigate back to it. Which is ASDF. <laughs> okay, so now when we click on a database we should see the designer mode. Voila! Now you just need to create relations. 
So I got a tutorial and I have a that goes to a tut subcat ID. I'm gonna zoom in for you. So I want to relate this to my tut to my foreign key. Create relation. Alright. That just added to the PHP my admin database. So now I can go into tuts and edit one. Now I can select a tut subcat ID and it has six in there. And that's how you set up PHP My Admin Designer Mode. I uh, hope this helps you in your projects. <laughs> and I don't care if you like this. Peace out.